This is my van siren. She's my tiny house on wheels. And today I had an anxiety attack. Sheer like cynical hopelessness and desperation. It just kind of suddenly all hit me at once. And my name is Flossie Rocks. Part of me really wants to go over there. Forget about what the, is around you in the world and just be a stupid walk for my stupid mental health. I'm at my friend's place now. I'm gonna get some. Deep within BC's cave network, where the history of copper mining lays dormant. If you've been watching this channel for a little while, you know that the last month or two has been a little rough. When everything is going wrong and you're struggling to carry on, I want you to know you matter. When you are feeling the hurt and pain and you try your hardest to stay sane, I want you to know you matter. When you feel like you've no one to care, and you are falling into despair, I want you to know you matter. Being broken is a temporary condition, a way station on a journey to joy and love, a place to gather strength and nourishment for the long miles ahead. I just parked my van at a trailhead and I'm heading for a walk in the forest. <sighs> I've had a rough day today. I have spent a lot of time just sitting with and taking in everything that has been happening in my life and how things have gone, the ups and the downs. I'm so grateful for the growth that my YouTube channel has had this month and I'm really bummed that it's happened as a result of a really hard thing happening in my life. Wow, I found a beautiful stream on this log bridge. Okay, concentrate while I get over it. Okay. And today I had an anxiety attack. All of the weight of my situation kind of hit me at once. And it just, it just felt super overwhelming. I guess I have been doing a really great job of pretending everything's okay and keeping on doing what I'm doing and then it just kind of suddenly all hit me at once. And when that happens, I cry. So I was driving down the highway crying. I decided not to film that because felt inauthentic and private and vulnerable and the other thing that I was thinking is I've just been working so hard to move closer to my dreams and right now it just feels like my dreams are moving further and further away from me keep touching my face because there's spider webs I'm walking into. I don't want my dreams to feel far away. Tonight I'm going to hang out with friends and probably have an, a fire outdoors but I've spent this week working my ass off on the computer, finishing up my contract. My layoff is effective. 
in like two, three more days. And then I get my, what I assume will be my last paycheck. I found the river. I just bush bashed because I could hear it. And I could see a couple pieces of flagging tape, which I actually think are more of a boundary than a trail. And I wanted to find the water following a deer trail, mostly. <sighs> I have been feeling an incredible desire to be alone. And I guess this is part of how I process my emotions and feelings. Move from feeling overwhelmed and stuck and depressed and kind of desperate like I had such a big cry this afternoon sheer like cynical hopelessness and desperation was my feeling slight panic like a complete panic attack Ugh. I feel like my nervous system is still kind of recovering and the sound of the river which doesn't come across very well on camera it's very soothing <sighs> I wonder if the camera can see all the spider webs that are crossing the river. Look at them all catching the sun. This is what I mean by bush bash. The salal is up to my knees. And aside from these flagging tapes on the tree, I have no idea where I'm going. <clears throat> it's trails like these that make me really keen to when I have the finances and stability to set myself more up for bike camping. I have an amazing e-bike and I would freaking love to be able to take my bike out places like this. This trail is definitely only accessible by foot or bike <laughs> and imagine if I could find a solar panel that was small enough and foldable and light enough to take with me and charge the bike up. Oh, be amazing. Anyway, I have a little trailer for my bike, so that will help. I have yet again found the river. Pretty sure this tree has only recently come down because it smells so good. Part of me really wants to go over there, but I have to wait for another time when I'm prepared to take my shoes and socks off and ford the r little river. So freaking beautiful. This is what my nervous system needed. I really hope your nervous systems, if you're experiencing any anxiety or panic or stress over whatever's going on in your life, because I know I'm not the only one who's in the middle of the unknown. 
not crisis necessarily, but no idea what's coming next. I hope you all find this soothing and are able to enjoy and relax. Forget about what the, is around you in the world and just oh, be with the roar of the water. <laughs> Gorgeous. I'm very much a salty ocean person, but if I'll get it, fresh water will calm me down a lot too. Let's see where this trail goes. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveller, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, Though as for that, the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. With the sunshine in the air, I can just smell cottonwood buds. The sun is heating up the tops of these trees, most of which are maples and there's some cottonwoods because we're so close to water and I can just smell the sweetness of the cottonwood trees or poplar, poplar buds. It's gorgeous. I get this feeling maybe I should be collecting more poplar bulbs to make some more salve. But I have a whole bunch, but you know, maybe if I did, then I could invite those of my YouTube people who have messaged me and tell me that you live on Vancouver Island. We could meet up and I can give you some, like the idea of having things to give away to folks. It's really lovely. Friends, I always love having something that I have made myself to give to folks. I don't know how far this trail will run. We're kind of following a little creek along here. Different one to what I just was at before. But it's definitely not maintained or used very much and I think it's gonna get overgrown really quickly. And at some point I need to stop exploring new trails and go back to the van. It smells so good. I was messing, uh, messaging one of my friends before I came here, saying, I'm going to go for a walk, a stupid walk for my stupid mental health. And you know what, surprisingly, it kind of works. <sighs> so, if you are feeling in any kind of way, maybe have a think about going for a stupid little walk for your stupid little mental health. And hopefully you too will find yourself uplifted 
encouraged and energized. I feel like this video is like a complete emotional journey of me coming out here feeling absolutely horrible, really depressed and anxious, and then beautiful nature giving me this gorgeous little reset. You know you're a forager when this is all poplar selve sap just from picking a small tiny handful of buds. It smells amazing and it's so good for you. Like this. And they're full of beautiful rich sap for cottonwood or poplar selve. We've had weeks and weeks of rain. So the sunshine is a welcome reprieve. Now, time to head to my friend's place. They have a little tiny house and are actually leaving the area soon. So we're gonna have a campfire and hang out and that will be really nice. I can do socialization and people if I've had more or the equal amount of alone time. And so this forest jaunt is exactly what I needed. Hopefully I get to come here again. It's really beautiful. <sighs> I'm tired, but you know what? Sometimes that's just fixed by food. But I think I'm also tired because of the amount of emotional stuff that I've been going through. <sighs> okay, next couple of days is a whole new start, a whole refresh, and I'll get to it, and I'm going to be motivated, inspired, and hopefully, with all my extra time, throw myself even harder at YouTube and Patreon. <sighs> Wish me luck. Thank you all so much for being here and being such an amazing emotional support through this really challenging time for me. It is absolutely <sighs> taking its toll, but I really appreciate your generosity and kindness. up everything looks lovely can unpack in the forest got all nice and level I'm at my friend's place now I'm gonna get some drinks and chill out and relax and it's gonna be lovely <sighs> I made it yeah <laughs> you want the colors <laughs> yeah I need to get one you want that sweet spot in between Oh my gosh, a little tree house! Yeah. yeah, that's what it kind of looks like. Yeah, but um, yeah. Oh yeah. And it's very filled. Yeah. Well, we had so much rain. Yeah. Very cool. It goes about, um... I remember walking in this last time. Yeah, it's not too deep. No, it kind of goes down and around the corner, right? That's my right. I wonder if this torch will be powerful enough to light it up at all. Oh yeah, a tiny bit. Just go for a little casual swim, see if you find any eels. Oh look, you've got a little altar in there. Ooh. Oh, little Buddha over there. Little Buddha. <laughs> I there. <laughs> Ooh. Well, look, you can see all the old, like, posts in there. Yeah, it's like um, the, rail, or the rails, I guess. 
That's so cool. That's so cool. There are salamanders that live underwater here. Underwater? Yeah. Whoa. I feel like I'm in that like lost ghost town living. Yeah. Oh look, there's a bat. Oh yeah. Little bat. The redhead guy. And that little oh, really? Oh. Oh, that might. I think that might just be wood rot. Wow. Yeah, they, oh, they put like it looked you. Oh, and this is from me from blasting. Look at those that round hole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. There's your cricket. Oh yeah. Oh, the cave crickets. Where are they? Right there. Oh, oh, this is a grasshoppers. <laughs> but a little spider. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. And there's also wires like a, here, like just to be aware of the rusty wires. Oh, glass <laughs> wire. Nice. Yeah, they they come out once in a while, but. Sell them. But, um, okay. Well, this is so cool. I remember you telling me about this when I came here last. You were like, yeah, there's this canoe cave. <laughs> it's really cool. Well, look, it looks coming out of the wall like a little fountain. Whoa. I haven't been in here in so long, so this is. Look at the holes. So they got some craving down here. Yeah. On the platform. Sometimes there's frogs and stuff that live in these caves too. I'll leave mm -hmm. that like. Look at those uh, static oh, mine teeth. Yeah. Is it calcium, this stuff? It's, it's a. I think it's just called calcite, right? Oh, yeah. It's the rock formation part. And there's a wire just right to your left here. Oh. Deep within BC's cave network, where the history of copper mining lays dormant. Da 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 da. Wax? It, it does look like candle wax. Yeah, just wax. Old beer bottles. Weird. Ancient. Huh. <laughs> it's so cool. This is proper cave because you can't see the other end. Like there's no light that gets this deep in. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Da -da -da. It is so cool. I look at all that crystal on the rock. What did you find? Is it newspaper? Bring it out! Is it a treasure map? <laughs> or is it just trash? It probably is trash, but it's kind of cool. I don't know what it is. Oh, you can see through it. Yeah. Weird. Weird. What does that say? <laughs> to ensure... Oh, it's probably trash, but it could be old it is trash. trash. It's just really Very old, old trash. trash. Yeah. That's beautiful. Sounds so beautiful in here.
It changes when no you're in this foot. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then we probably get it back when we come back down here. Yeah, we will again. So cool. That's cool. Yeah, some Look artifacts. So. Artifact. Keep it up from the moisture. Yeah. So cool. It looks like a little foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cave foot. Cave foot. Yeah. A star leaf. Oh, yeah, a star leaf. Oh, I get one foot in there. Star leaf so bad. That's cool. I'm gonna keep my eyes open. Mm -hmm. I've, that. I've been watching too many Ghost Town Living YouTube channel like <laughs> oh, abandon my like that ghost town and it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he's like, I'm going 900 feet underground. And we're like, meanwhile. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. <laughs> I remember watching a video of him uh, going down um, another shot that I just discovered and all he had was the mm -hmm. Uh, the rope that he was hanging off of. He's like wild with his caving. He just like. like this is this how they pump water out of you? Probably. Okay. Yeah. Man, citizenship. There's three things they require you. They require you to have. with my tender heart nursed by company, fire, adventure and laughter. I slept soundly, waking up next morning, tired, refreshed, and able to consider taking on yet another week. It's days like this that build me up. I can keep going and you can too. When the sun is out, I feel it behind my back. My luck has turned. The winds of tide of change are at my back. We've got this. Breakfast, tea, hot water. Going on. Yeah. <laughs> It's only just warm. All right, I'm gonna have to put it back here so I can make tea because it's not hot enough. Okay, perch. <laughs> hot enough for the tea? Yeah, it's good. It is a turmeric one. It's turning my water yellow. My, <laughs> my cup is cooled down. I was cooking the other day and I put turmeric on my face or like the bag popped into my face. And I looked <laughs> in the mirror and my whole face was yellow. <laughs> what? I dyed my hair once with turmeric. Yeah. Every, it's the color now almost. Yeah, but everything I touched turned yellow. <laughs> if I put my head on something, it yeah, turned yellow. Yeah, stuff is crazy. Like Good morning. That. Thank you so much for watching this video and coming along this crazy journey with me. I love and appreciate all your comments. And while I might be slow to respond to some of them, I try to eventually get to all. If you haven't already, jump over into the links. You can follow me on Instagram. 
Down below is the link to my web store where I have a few things to sell, some stickers, some pottery, some crafts that I've made that all help support me during this time. Give this video a big think thumbs up if you haven't already and hit the notification bell and I will see you all next week with quite an exciting announcement of a new adventure. Bye!